How long have you been living in the South? My entire life. So you know absolutely no Northern sayings? I know nothing. I'm here at Southern Living, and although I may not know what bless your heart means, we're going to see if any Southerners know any Northern slang. What does yada mean mean? You want to spell that? Uh, I have no idea. Um, I don't know. It sounds like some sort of an ethnic dish. You know what I mean? No. Oh my gosh, that's right. No one has gotten that one so far. Can you tell me what snurt is? Snurt? Is someone a snurt? It sounds similar to snarky. It's an alternative for dessert. You're being an idiot? Snurt is actually a word for snow and dirt mixed together that we use. <laughs> so you're all, your shoes are all snurty. <laughs> Can you tell me what blip means? Um, is it like a blooper? Like a blip on the radar? Blip is actually a replacement for a curse word in the north. In Seattle, people will say, what the blip? I love it. I will definitely use that one. <laughs> I, I need to be blipping all the time. Can you tell me what starbs means? Starbs? Starbs. 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 Like, you're starving? Can you use it in a sentence for me, please? I went to Starbs. Oh, Starbucks. Okay. Pre-funk. Do you know what that is? Pre-funk. Is that prior to the funk era? <laughs> the mindset you need to get in before you go to a party, before you get your groove on. I am very impressed. That is actually what it means. So I'm guessing that people from your area just don't like saying several words at one time, so you just combine them all together? Pretty much.